Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So when I sat to film today, I really, really was inspired to do something super colorful because I haven't done that in a while. So here it is. Uh, today's makeup look is going to be a walkthrough tutorial on this eye and lip makeup right here. I did do the base off camera because you guys have seen me do my base a lot and I didn't want this to be another super long video, but it is still a talk through. So I have shared a lot of tips and tricks in the video of how I use my brushes and what brushes I use and how to use them and things like that so definitely do let me know if you like these kind of videos and i'd be happy to make them ow shit i just hit myself anyway so let's get right into it as always before we start please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you do like it definitely hit the notification bell so that you never miss a video from me and do follow me on instagram i do a lot of mini tutorials and tips and tricks and things like that on insta so definitely do follow me on instagram if you don't already Let's start. Okay guys, so I'm starting with a bare face. All I've done is prep my eyelids with some concealer and I have set that with a compact powder and I have done my brows. Starting with this eyeshadow palette right here. This is the NYX Ultimate Bright Palette. I'm gonna take this shade right there on a MAC 224 brush and I'm gonna start to kind of just apply it into my crease on my eyelids. Don't worry about being really, really neat with it on your eyelids. It's going to be covered later on. So I'm going over this with like like nice circular motions to ensure that the blend is like super perfect you want to make sure you go all the way to the inner corner and ensure it has equal amount of color like the rest of the eye next taking this cobalt blue eyeshadow on a Sigma E25 brush I'm gonna start to place this color on the outer corner of my eye and take it into my crease as well now uh, to place the color you want to make sure you kind of tap it and like pack it into place because otherwise this color payoff is not going to be very very great. This is one of the tricks I have basically picked up over time that uh, with certain eyeshadows you really need to like pack them into place before you start to kind of blend them out to get that really good color payoff otherwise it's just going to show like absolutely nothing on uh, your eyes. Once again, you want to take this all the way to the inner corner. Just ensure it's like really well there into the crease because we're going to cut that crease and we want to make sure that all the colors really, really show up when we do cut it. Now, just to really intensify that color, I'm taking my Urban Decay Electric Palette and I'm taking uh, this shade right here, which is a really deep cobalt blue to apply it to the outer corner of my eyes. So I'm just taking that and packing that shade onto the outer corner of my eyes. And going all the way inside into the crease. Next, I'm just going to take a cleansing wipe and just clean all of that fallout and create that V shape that I want to. Just to give me some sense of where I want to go next with this look. Moving on, taking my NYX Vivid Brights cream color in the shade Light Show. Just kind of applying that with an angled brush, kind of cutting my crease with this liner. I've noticed angled brushes work best, especially if they're super duper thin. Like just check out how thin this angled brush of mine is and it works so well to cut the crease. Then kind of just creating the shape that I want to create. Uh, I'm going to have to, I've not used any concealer, so I'm going to have to really build this gold color on there. Now I kind of want to create, I don't want it to be this stark straight shape, I kind of want to create a wing with this um, gold that I have right here. So I'm going to start to kind of extend it to this point and then just taper it all the way to where I have stopped right here. Once again, taking some of that cobalt blue on this same shade of brush, I'm going to start to kind of intensify the outer corner right here and make sure that that shape that we want to create is maintained. Next, I'm taking my Sephora liquid liner. It is a black matte liquid liner and I'm going to create a wing with um, this. So I'm basically just going to follow the shape that I have given right here. Starting off with creating the wing and then just kind of connecting it to the inside of my eye. I'm not going to be able to talk while I do this. So here goes. Now. 
नेक्स्ट यूजिंग द नेक्स्ट glitter eyeliner in the shade uh, crystal gold i'm just going to apply that all over where we've applied the gold just to give it that extra you know that oomph factor this gold glitter liner is probably the best glitter liner i have ever used it is so opaque like usually you see glitter liners that don't have as much glitter showing up when you apply them but this one is freaking amazing and i really really want to get all the shades in this eyeliner so now i'm just going to quickly do my base off camera and be right back All right guys I'm back and I have my base completely done um just a little bit of touch up maybe later so now moving on I'm taking this cobalt blue color once again and I'm going to be taking it on a pencil brush really tapping tapping off that excess and I'm just going to start to apply it under my waterline So you want to make sure you apply this under your waterline but at the same time really really close to the lash line. In my waterline I'm going to apply a this kajal right here. Well it's not a kajal it's more of an eye pencil but it's a really deep gold eye pencil. I'm just going to start to apply that into my waterline. Then I'm just going to take this like it's a really nice purple iridescent highlight. Oh my god it's like super crazy. So I'm just going to take that on like a tiny brush and I'm going to highlight my brow bone with this highlight. It's the same highlight I have used all over my face like right there. It's like really crazy and actually really beautiful. So I'm pretty much done with my eyes. I'm taking this perversion mascara and I'm just going to apply that generously on my top and bottom eyelid um eyelashes. Can I say eyelids? Finally I'm applying these lashes they're in the style Posh from a company called Winsome Story based in India and uh, I call these my bat eyelashes because they are so dramatic they're so crazy and they look absolutely freaking stunning so I'm just going to apply this and be right back and I'm back and now do you see why I call these my bat crazy lashes because they are absolutely stunning shit I can't believe you can't see it what if I keep something like light in the back okay it's going to be super silly but just so you guys can see how crazy these lashes are that's right that's right going to be applying the NYX liquid suede cream lipstick in the shade pink lust slash passion rose there's like two names on this i don't know what it's called pink lust slash passion rose <laughs> and that's it guys we're done i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and i will see you in my next video bye